Non contact myography as a novel tool in diagnosis of ocular surface disorders. Introduction Imaging techniques for anterior segments are many nowadays. There are different variety of imaging techniques, including anterior segment OCT, in vivo, conofocal, microscopy, and non contact myography, which is the main topic of our presentation today. Non contact myography it refers to visualization and quantification of myobian gland drop out using photo documentation so non contact myography can document and visualize the myobian glands in the eyelids non contact myography is an infrared camera which uses the infrared transmitted filter to allow observation of the inverted eyelid myobian glands. Evaluation of myobian gland by the device will include the examination of myobian gland in the upper and lower eyelids. The myobian gland in the upper eyelid outnumber the lower eyelid myobian glands, where the myobian glands in the upper eyelid are longer in length. The myobian gland appear as hypoilluminant grab-like clusters when the myobian gland doesn't transverse the total tussle blade called as a drop out. Advantages of non contact myography it is easy to perform with gross evaluation of the lid. It is a good tool for documentation and monitoring of the changes which occur in myobian glands. Also, it gives a subjective interpretation of image by various objective and analytical grading system of different devices. In this photo, we can notice the marking of the examined area by non-contact myography device. This photo is an example of non-contact myography photo taken by Cirrus CSO Florence Italy device. I have no financial interest. In the left image, you can see the myobian glands which are parallel to each other, while in the right eye, we can see the marking of the device which shows the area of loss of my bobbing gland here and this is, is analyzed by the device monitoring system. Measurement of the drop out by percentage which is called my BBU scale. It graded according to loss of my bobbing glands. Grade 0, there is no loss at all. Grade 1, the loss less than 25%. Grade 2, the loss from 26 to 50 percent, grade 3 from 51 to 75 percent, and lastly, grade 4, the loss more than 75 percent. In this photo, we can see degree 1 my bobo scale with area of loss about 20.1 percent. My bobo grade system was developed and validated by Cole and his colleagues. This system involves gland distortion, which is an abnormal gland to tarsus ratio and show the gland tortuosity and shape. So the mabubu gland differs from my bubu scale that it is evaluation of the shape of the gland, not amounts of my bubian glands. This is an example of grade zero mabubu grade with no significant eyelid involvement. This photo show grade 1 myobial grade with there is a dilatation and tortuosity of myobian glands. Grade 2, there is starting loss of myobian gland in the form of drop out with gland distortion, as in this photo. Grade 3, myobian gland doesn't transverse the total tarsal blade with modeling of the details. Non contact myography can be used in different ocular surface disorders. It has been used for many uses in ocular surface evaluation. For example, to study the effect of posterior fights on my brain gland, as in this research published in Saudi Journal of Salmonish. Uh, also, it can be used to determine changes detected in my brain glands in patients with regular use of soft contact lenses, as this research published in clinical ophthalmology. It can be used to differentiate between calesion and specious gland carcinoma as published in clinical ophthalmology. It can be used for evaluation of 
and prevalence of mybubian gland atrophy in pediatric population. It can be used for evaluation of morphological changes of mybubian glands in patients with type 2 diabetes, as this research was published in International Journal of Ophthalmology. It can be used for evaluation of morphological changes of mybubian gland in Jogren and non jogren syndrome dry eye patients. Home message lastly, there is a variety of imaging techniques have been introduced to study ocular surface disorders. Mybography refers to visualization and quantification of mybobian gland, which uses the photo documentation. It is a subjective interpretation of the image by various tools in their different devices. It used in evaluation of posterior prophytis, it changes in mybobian gland with contact lens use gland atrophy in pediatric population and morphological changes of mybobian gland in patients with type 2 diabetes. Thank you and I hope you enjoy my presentation.